if you close the door but turn it out the lights there's still so much i'd like to show you so you have let's four give it new one messages message one tuesday first january 12 45. hi daniel it's your mother it was so nice to see you last weekend you never get to see you enough Oh, my bubble is a Mrs. Pepper Spit. Her daughter's looking lovelier than ever. When are you going to call her? I hope you got that book I sent you. And Auntie Joan says, thanks so much for looking after her fish. But she'll be around to pick them up on Tuesday. Bye. Turn your back Cause if we close the door We'll turn it out the lights There's still so much I'd like to show you So let's give it one more try Hey, let's light it up now we Show them that this flame's still burning We'll sing our hearts out There's still time the world keeps turning It's all we have Choices. We'll make them listen. We won't stop till they hear our voices. Let's light it up now. 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 No music at work, mate. Yes, of course we can sort that out for you. How about we talk about details, say, over dinner tonight? No, of course it's not inappropriate behaviour. Just a bit of client hospitality. Get lost, Johnny. Oh, God! I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't sorry, see I that. Didn't... Here, let me help you clean that yes, up. I can get that. Ali, have you got the Western files? I'll get that. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. Ali! Thanks. And then after dislodging the rendezvous point and uh, straightening out the default roof, all we've got to do then is uh, reticulate the BGP. Good work, boys. Do you need to test it? Yeah, but they're absolutely in the right state. Don't worry, I've got just the man for the job. to be the next CEO. <laughs> well, um, if the executive has time, uh, who is going for a drink after work? We should come. Yeah, that'd be fun. Daniel, the boys will be needing the test time in the morning and all the port names are wrong. Oh, I've already got all the addresses. That's what I like about you, Daniel. Hard work, that. I'm his favourite. And don't forget to update all the widgets. Eight PM, yeah. Yeah. Take that, Betty.
down, please. What? Can you keep it down, please? Mm, what you say? Can you keep it down, please. I'm trying to work. Ah, so sorry. Hmm, you learn networking from a book? Ah, so sorry. Look, can you go clean somewhere else? No need. Cleaning all done. See you here tonight. Hi. What's your name again? Daniel. That's right. Dumas. How oh, could I forget a name like Dumas? Well, what brings you here tonight, Dumas? <laughs> well, well, fellas, it's not your sparkly conversation. And is there something wrong with our conversation, Dumas? Yeah, what we've expected, eh? A romantic repartee with the Aphrodite from Abney, the pouty PA, the pretty from finance. Well, that's Johnny's girl. Johnny's girl? Guys, if you're talking about Ali, then... Listen, pal, talking's overrated. I'm more interested in action. What's up? What's this? Networking for dumb horses. <laughs> Alright, Slugger. I heard you got cracked by a rat go. Piss off, Mike. How did you get on with Ali yesterday, did you? Mike just... Oh, Daniel, you are so sexy. Why? Oh, come on, I'm just yanking your crank. You must have got something. Let's face Second base. Third base? Bang! Wait, I really don't want to talk about it, alright? Whatever you say. Originator. Mike, you're such a wanker. Yes, but when I get my PhD, I will be Dr. Banker. Oh, please, Dr. Banker. Tell me a man with your Mike! Mike! Come on, buy me a drink. Tell me all about it. Wait, Mike, what are you doing? We're going to the pub, Daniela. <laughs> Bar. Yeah. Oh, it's your girlfriend. Hi, Ali. I'll leave you to start wedding plans. Hey, where were you last night? Oh my god, what happened? Boyfriend happened. Big surprise, huh? My boyfriend? Did you just forget about Johnny when it suits you? He's not. Come on, Johnny was a mistake here. Best. You can't tell me you haven't had any psycho exes. Eyes like those. 
You must be a regular Joseph Fritzel. But you do look a little bit like Elizabeth. Hey, keep talking like that and you'll lose your chance to ask me out properly. So you free tomorrow? Maybe. So maybe I'll pick you up at three. Hey, babes. I'm not your babe. Don't be like that. Johnny, don't. I think you should leave. A little chat, not enough last night. You gonna bring it on, little punk? You ain't got nothing. You seen this? It means I don't have to take shit from people like you. Look, just because you've got a fancy four-digit number on your chest doesn't mean you can push people around, yeah. right? Yeah, what OSI layers, eh? Come on, uh, how many bits I'm in a okay. bite? Eh, eh? Yeah, oh, what's the maximum length of X21 cable? At what transmission speed? What? You see, at 9,600 hertz, the maximum length is... Who the hell are you? That is not important. Well, then piss off. I think you're afraid of him. Afraid of him? Then why don't you challenge him? End this like man. Ha! I'll beat this kid at anything. Then beat him at the annual networking tournament. What? The annual networking tournament. I'd beat this punk in a second. Only if you have stomach for it. Stomach? I'll bet my job on it. Hmm. Deal. But if he loses, he leaves. Hmm. But you can't do that. What have you done? I can't enter any networking tournament. Johnny's going to eat me alive. Don't worry. All under control. Come to my house. Tomorrow. Early. I can't... Who are you? I mean, have you lost your mind? You're just... You're just a cleaner. Why should I... I just can't... No, no. Don't worry about him. Asking him to... Seem to me, you have no choice. <laughs> Piss off, Johnny. Come on, Ali. We're leaving. Hello? Hello? All that, very long time ago. But this is you. You must have been one of the best network engineers around. No best. Simply do. Now hands too old to type. But you, Daniel-san, you have spirit. Maguire see it. But you lack form, focus, discipline, or any real knowledge of networking. Others prey on you. Macquarie never liked bullies. But, but, but you can train me. Oh my God, you can train me. I'm going to kick Johnny's ass. Daniel, son. No listen, no learn. You like project manager. Now, look here. You pupil, me teacher. Me teach, you do. No question. Understand? Yes, Mr. McGuire. Good. Now this makes unbreakable agreement. Now, untangle rope. What? No, what? Just do. No! Breathe in, breathe out. Spin rope, pull rope. Spin rope, pull rope. Good. 
Untangle all rope. Spin rope. Pull rope. Sorry, mate. What were you doing? Tangling up rope. Mike, Mike, leave that alone. Right, and what do you mean you were late? You weren't even invited. Ah, uh, what's a little invite between friends? You obviously forgot. That's okay. Mike, I really, really need this. Maybe I need this too. What do you mean you really need this? You do project management. All you really need are paper clips. Look, just, just don't mess anything up, okay? Whatever. You untangled all the rope? Yes, Mr. McGuire. Good. Now you tidy chopstick. Chopsticks? You file chopstick here. No, Danielson. Not like that. Like this. File in rows. 48 across. Keep smooth movements. Breathe in through nose and out the mouth. File chopstick. Good. No good. You get some wrong. This is ridiculous. You know what? Go find your own goddamn chopsticks. Danielson, you must learn calm. Calm? Why should I be calm? Because you're networking training. No, I'm not. Be your slave, that's what I'm being. No, you learn networking. I learn nothing. You learn plenty. Follow. Show me. Spin rope, pull rope. Danielson! Wait! Breathe. Now show me. File chopstick. Good. Spin rope, pull rope. File chopstick. Spin rope, pull rope. File chopstick. Spin rope, pull rope, foul chopstick. Spin rope, pull rope, foul chopstick. Spin rope, pull rope, foul chopstick. Good, down your son. Good. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's Ali. I've, I've, I've got to go, with Mr. Bagari. Right? Down your son. Wait. Thanks, Mr. Bagari. It might be proprietary, but it's perfect for my topology. I don't like BGP, cause I'm not an ISP, and I don't do it externally, so all 
RGP. It's my favorite RGP, yeah. Some people just don't see. It's practicality. So how'd you come to work for Manana Communication? Well, you know, I, I just kind of fell into it, really. My real dream is to own a cake shop. A cake shop? Yeah, but not just an ordinary cake shop. It's a cake shop for when you have to break bad news to people. Oh, I've got some photos of some of the designs I've been working on. So, you know, it's for when you have to break bad news to someone and it's all awkward. You can just put it on a cake, soften the blow. And, uh, and then afterwards, they have cake to eat too. Because if, if I found out that I only had six months to live, I'd want some cake. So what are you going to call this cake shop of misery? I'm going to call it Bad News Made Sweeter. Good, huh? Sounds really great. I'm sure it'll do really well. So what made you want to become a network engineer? Well, because of my father, really. And, um, it all happened when I was little. It was bring your kids to work at the power plant. Dad took me along. And, uh, and it, was, it was amazing. There was all these wires and cables, bringing electricity to people's houses. And my dad was a great believer in technology. Power to improve people's lives. And that's when it happened. I saw the whole thing. Some kind of loose connection, they said it was, or a faulty part. In one minute, he was standing there talking to me. And the next minute, there was 10,000 volts of electricity coursing through his body. Oh my God, how terrible. Well, they, they shut the power off, pulled him free, but all that electricity flowing through his body, I mean, it did something to him. I mean, it, it gave him visions. Vision? What happened? What did he see? He saw the future. People said he was crazy, but really he'd become some kind of prophet. An electric Jesus. He saw a great global network. With computers all hooked up together, talking to each other. A wondrous mesh of communication for all mankind. Sounds amazing. It was. Nobody listened. Superman 3 had just come out. People were just too damn scared to connect their computers together. <sighs> he died a few months later. His ideas forgotten. I'm so sorry. And that's why I want to become a network engineer. One of my father's visions. Hey, look, let's go get our picture today. It's the IGRP. It might be proprietary, but it's perfect for my topology. It's my favorite IGP, yeah. Some people just don't see its practicality. But I just cannot be with a root that's method free. I'm not an ISP And I don't do externally So all I need Is EIGRP Mind's apology, yeah Mind's apology, yeah Mind's apology, yeah Mind's apology, yeah Best day ever. Isn't it cute? Little Junior and the secretary. Ain't that sauce? Swag. Oh, leave him alone. 
Why do you guys have to be such assholes? Just because he doesn't have a fancy car, you know, or an important job. No, that's not entirely fair. I, big I, networking qualification or fashionable clothes. I mean, seriously. Yeah, yeah you're right. He's got none of them. Nothing at all. <laughs> got no, Daniel, I didn't mean it like... So now you see what's really important, huh? Well, no, Daniel, you can't seriously expect... What have you got? Right? Bad news cakes. I mean, what kind of stupid idea is that? Fido's dad. Oh, let's make a cake. Here, have some dead dog cake. Daniel, I was just trying to help. You know what? You're not trying to help. You're just like the rest of them. Daniel! You know, you know, underneath that nice topping, you're just really bad news. Tell you what, why don't you go home and bake yourself a cake? You can call it, I'm a snooty cow. I think that'd be a real good seller. Right, fine. Have it your way. Ooh. <laughs> Are you going to lose anything else today? Are you going to save it all for the tournament? <laughs> Can't believe it. You and the cleaner. Hey, he's not just a cleaner, all right? What are you going to do, eh? Mop up at the tournament. I think he's going to get dusted. Boop. You know what? Screw all of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ali! Get the I never should have trusted you. I knew it'd all go wrong. Take your things and take your reasons. Take your words, cause I don't need them. Take your life and take your demons. Leave. Take your head and take your lies. It's you I can abide. I'm sure he will make you feel alive and just leave. Take your dreams and take your cakes Trusting you was a bad mistake This heart of mine will never break And just leave me alone You never shared in my dreams Never believed I could win All you've done is make me doubt myself This heart of mine will never break and just leave me alone You never shared in my dreams Never believed I could win All you've done is make me doubt myself Hopeless motherfucker, quit your whining. You're going back to school to listen to what the PM's got to tell you. Just look at you, what am I gonna do? With a hopeless loser who doesn't have a clue who's friends with you. Yeah, meet that too. So listen to me and I will tell you what I do. You wanna hang with this girl, I can see what you mean. You are one for a form, you are keen for a beat. You wanna be with her to the highest degree. Then listen to me, the BMV. Fantasize, cause you are the prize A girl will be so lucky with a man of your size Hot dog, foot long, I don't mean to hype I've never seen you so long with a stereotype That you need a less standing by your side for the tournament So you can represent the team that's gonna hit 100% That's you, you better believe it Maguire and Ali will take you to your limit of your confidence Use your common sense, putting Johnny and his homies in the past tense That's it, that's all from me This busy PM's got places to be The hunters will all be going crazy Mom wants me back in time for me tea
Daniel-san, you are not yourself today. You must learn calm, learn focus. Network no good if mind all at sea. Now, focus here, clear head. See packet, be packet, you are packet. Ignore all else. Understand? Good. Now network. Call that a network? What the hell are you doing, you crazy old Daniel son, you must learn focus. Ignore all outside influences, including megaphone. Now, clear your mind. Again. as good as you. You think I'm ready? Of course. But I've only had the one training month. Let me give you some advice. There once was a young fatherless man, not too unlike yourself. He showed great promise, but lived in a brutal regime and a very hard life. 
One day, he met an old man out in the wilderness who showed him he needed to calm his mind and listen to his instincts. He didn't know it, but already he had all the skills he needed. He learned that he only needed to trust himself in order to succeed. And eventually, he went on to destroy the Death Star. What? And still you don't listen. Your mind, it's like... I don't understand how you can get anything done with all of those thoughts. And what am I supposed to do? Huh? <laughs> Trust yourself to do the right thing. Success does not come from doubt. You know what? I think I understand. Hey! You want fondue? Actually, I need to go. Got to get to work in the morning. I'll see you later. Danielson, one last thing. You remember the girl? Yes. Except she's not your sister. She don't want to speak to you. I really want to talk to her. She doesn't want to speak to you. Get over it. Hey, Ali. You hey. sure are some piece of work, aren't you? Me, but I'm not the one who said all this. She likes you. She really likes you. And then you have to go and prove you're the big man, don't you? But I really like her too. Yeah. Pass me a bucket. Ali, you coming? No, it's okay. You guys go ahead. Listen, I'm really sorry I said your bad news cakes were a stupid idea. That's okay. I was starting to think that it was a pretty lame idea too. But it's not a lame idea. I mean, there's so much bad news out there in the world today, and I think it's amazing that you're trying to make the world a better place. Really? Yeah, and you've got to follow your dreams. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about what I said the other day too. It was really unfair. It's okay. It's the networking tournament tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. You know, I've not got much of a cheerleading section. And I'm probably going to get knocked out in the first round anyway. Hey, that's okay. If you do, I can bake you a cake. students, sweet bags and pizza files, it's 2005, and this is the 14th International Annual Networking Tournament. This year's tournament is held in the bustling metropolis of Basingstoke, home of bad hairdos, chip shops, and single moms, and Tommy McGuire. But for one day only, host the most prestigious IT event in the world. And that's saying something, Dave. I'm John Roscoe. And I'm Dave Nash. And together, we'll be bringing you today's action. Well, we've certainly got some spectacles in store for you today. We've got over 100 competitors from across the globe. And this year, it's really heating up. It could be the best tournament we've seen in years. Right. That's you all signed in. So, through the door to your right, please. And sorry, it's contestants only. You can meet him in the arena. Loser. You thought of losing out there? Yeah, loser boy. Gonna lose. Save it for the competition, lads. I'm gonna nail that jinx today. 
I said save it. Are you okay? Round one's about to get underway. Today we start with a traditional family favorite, cable entangling. And a much maligned skill it is, Dave. In the first round, we have Rain Yard Franklin, local chip shop owner. And I'm just reading here, he was once the fattest man in the world. Which is surprising, because we have a lot of fatties here in the US. Oh, <laughs> I've certainly had my fair share. He'll be facing rank outsider, Daniel LaRusso. I don't see much of an upset here, Dave. Not quite like the time I was caught when I ate and toothbrush jumped up my ass. Hey, champ. You okay? Yeah, just, just a little bit nervous, that's all. Well, you better get it together, because you're up next. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You should wear this for luck. Thanks. Let's get down to the action. Dave, looks like LaRusso is using the orthodox pull and spin technique. He needs to relax. Looks like his nerves are getting the better of him. Average time. How'd I do? Do you think I did well enough? Now we see. He's off to a good start. Interesting technique. Looks to me like he's using the double viper strategy, perfected by the big Kong back in Nam. Ah, Charlie. My old adversary. Dave. Dave, come back to me. Come back to me. Oh my god! He's throwing cables into the crowd! He's literally throwing his chances away! He's gonna have to get those cables to get him back up on stage before the clock stops. Oh! Come on! Come on, 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 It's a tie, my goodness! Not the ties you've got to worry about, John. It's the goddamn Dukes and Koreans. Well, in a tie-break situation like this, there's only Can one you thing. Find calm. Make peace table. within yourself. And what Remember, spin rope, pull rope. Oh, come on, Daniel, you can do it. Gonna have to take something Relax. To Make good height. Show them what your mama gave you. Looks like the newcomer's really settled into his stride. He's really running away with this one, John. Makes a change from the first round. Not too sure what that little weird Chinese man has given him, but he's going like a she-man on speed. I'm actually quite jealous. With the bitter taste the blind, you should have one. Yes! It's a spur that will drive you on. Working during a crisis, all is a crowd favorite. They just never quite know what's gonna happen. And Newman's got management. Now one's got a crowd to do with. Now, we're using your children this year. We all remember the fiasco with the midgets last year. Right, well, we just got the stain up. Looks like Newman's got all the paperwork done. Come on! It's a hey. story. Come on! Whoa, was that a little bribe? That reminds me of Sneaky Simon back in 77. Winner! <laughs> and he's through! Yeehaw! He 
were throwing the towel at the very next defeat. And if they lost, he would bear the cost for perpetuity. Yeah. And in his heart, he could feel the start All right. of the first no. of bravery. No. Once again, the newcomer Lomoso shows great technique. Being in range of his long sight, the first of them, where the second of them is. He is blinding the user with techno babble, John. They will be feeling very stupid and small right about now. Does that work? Yeah, that's that. That's one user who won't be calling back. Interesting choice of costume there. Be careful there, John. I think he's French. And that's why Napoleon lost. It's a different story when you want me. It ain't Jack and Norbert. You know, if everybody in the world did a press up at the same time, you'd knock the earth off its axis. Well, the only thing Morgan seems to be knocking together there is his own nuts. Very few of those press ups are actually gonna count. And ladies and gentlemen, on five points, the last question What is this? This dog's stuck in the fridge! I'm afraid I have to pass that over to Johnny. It's a dual power 6509. Let's see if your answer is correct. Yes! Yes! When you're faced with the bitter taste of nine, you should have one. Yes! Trent cruising into the semi final there. He really does make it look easy. It's not your typical art class down there. These are highly complex networks being designed on the fly and against the clock. And that's Trent's entry. Let's see what the judges have to say. Eight. Eight. Seven. And it's 25 points out of a maximum of 30. Ooh, 23 points, Dave. That's 23. Detail. He would throw in the towel at the very next day. And it's 25 points for LaRusso! This could turn out to be a real underdog story. Yeah! Yes! That's incredible. Johnny Fox is storming his way through the semi-finals. And he's doing it blindfolded. I'm not sure he realizes, John, but he's really going to impair his vision. What showmanship? Oh! Oh! Hang your head in shame, Radcliffe. You've been beaten by a blind man. Oh my god, it's a final. I can't believe it. Do you think I can win? It's not about winning or losing. Yeah, but do you think I can win? Hell yeah, brother! Wow. This contest has really turned out to be the proverbial David versus Goliath. I can't remember when I last felt tension like this. I can, John. When you walked in on me, your wife. Your dog. I was wearing your purple. Hey, it's not my fault, you an idiot. At least I didn't get beaten up by a bunch of kids. Hey, they were pretty strong for kids. I can't believe that little shit got through. I'm gonna lose face with this punk. You better not be beating that, aren't you? You an idiot. And now for the final round, you know it all, the Eliminator! For all this complexity, John, it's just a straightforward race. First person to complete the network wins. And what a network it will be. 
The drafts for this year's network were put together by none other than Lee Felsenstein, the blind beggar from Belgrade. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your two finalists. On my right, Daniel LaRusso. And sitting on my left, Johnny Fox. Now, gentlemen, I want a nice clean config, no loops and no statics. Please take your seats. Now let's get ready to network. Well, to be quite honest, folks, it's hard to see what's going on down there. He's definitely typing something, John. Every year it baffles me. I don't know why they made this the final event. It's really not a spectator sport. Wait, the, the computer's telling you something, John. LaRusso's taking the lead. Whatever he's doing, he needs to carry on doing it. There's some excitement on the floor! Hold on a second! What's wrong? It, it's not working, it's locked up. Cool. It should be, I mean, they, they were both config... The rules are saying the lab equipment's faulty! Is it exactly the Look, same I've got to get in there and fix it, alright? You're not allowed to leave this desk, it's a competition. I've got three minutes till you're disqualified! It's hopeless. The equipment's all fried. I've lost. It's okay, Daniel. Don't worry. You made the final. You did great. Daniel son, you've come a long way. Make old man happy. You have not lost. Found spirit. It's not a bad spirit. Every time I see those guys, I'm gonna know they've got the best of me. Can't find peace that way. Not with them. Not with you. Or with myself. Daniel son. The Macquarie lived long time. See many things. But until I meet you, I think I never find feasible successor. But now Really? Me? Look deep in yourself. Find your passive state. What a man day! Even in the final, he's working the crowd. Murari, but get out there. Kick some ass! Is this? Yes, it's the Russo. He seemed to fix those problems he was having earlier, John.
It's astonishing day. Folks, glue those papers to the progress bar, because this is teeing up to be one of the greatest finals of all time. How many bits in the... Are you ready? Cut. Action. Yeah, no, ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid of him. Afraid of this? I don't know what I'm going to say there. Afraid of him? <laughs> okay. If he loses... You said fuck it. Okay. If he loses... <laughs> hey. You ain't got nothing. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Annual networking tournament. Help me. I'll beat this punk. I bet my boat. My... Oh, you lose. You take it to the quarry. All right. Well, I meant to say something, yeah. What a network it will be. This year's network has been designed by Lee. <laughs> what a network it will be. This year's network has... And what a network it will be. This year's drafts have been put together but not by... What a network it will be. This year, it has been designed by none other than Lee Flemsenstein. The... <laughs> Lee Schlafflaffenlaffen. Felsenstein. Lee 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 Pass me the <laughs> <laughs> I really like her too. <laughs> so, gay bar? Damn right! 